It's Monday. I've had overnight parts from China. You know what? This will decimate all after you put about 15 grand in it or more if we have to overnight parts from Japan. So I've been waiting a couple of weeks for a couple of more Amazon parts. I know I said don't use Amazon, but I'm not paying full price for this stuff um, because it's ridiculous money for what it is. It's literally an ignition cover and the horseshoe that goes underneath it. They come chrome on the bike or actually plastic in terms of the horseshoe. Um, this is actually quite a nice little billet very nice and this is also a billet very nice um i think combined it cost me about 30 quid took about two weeks um and i think it'll just be a nice little touch because most of it's blacked out now so let's see if we can black some more out so as i mentioned over on the workbench the little horseshoe it's just sort of black powder coated slash anodized substantially thicker and heavier than the uh, the stock part actually which is quite good because the stock ones are fairly fragile and shit so we'll take it off we'll get that fitted up and then we have the actual uh, the turning the switch itself comes with a little sticky thing inside and you just stick over the top but yeah little billet nicely cut nice edges well powder coated or anodized Probably anodized, I would imagine, with these. But yeah. And it gets, so I'm still going to have the chrome uh, bezels on the speedo. But I think these will be a nice little addition up front. Just to help black things out. To go along with the general theme. So we'll start easy. We'll uh, take the horseshoe off. Which I think literally just sort of clips off the oh yeah, There it is. -da. So in terms of... Oh, it's got a little rubber softener. I don't know if I need that, to be honest. But yeah, this one is plastiche. Metal. I'm not sure if that'll make any difference in terms of anything. But side by side, they're pretty close, pretty good. I think the Harley Davidson version of this is about 60, 70 quid. This was 14 quid. So... I'm hoping it does the job just fine. Everything looks the same. The tang's a little bit deeper actually on the metal aftermarket one, so maybe it holds on a little bit better. We'll find out. Get him in there, slide him in there. Oh, he says, there you go. And then push, push. Sweet than that. It's in there solid. It actually feels better than the original. So once again, Amazon has come up trumps. Bosh. And it's just time for the ignition switch itself. We'll see how this uh, this sticky stuff holds up. My only reservation is that generally Chinese copy 3M is not 3M, as we know. It tends to be a bit weak. So we'll see, we may have to change that out for some Gorilla tape. But We'll give it the benefit of his out. Oh, nice. I'll show you, wait there. There we have it. Probably the quickest, easiest install video I've ever done. But after that, you still get a little bit of the chrome at the back here. Just sort of the cutaway, but I understand that. But actually in terms of looking down, oh yeah. So much better than the, the plastic. Look how filthy that bike is. Oh my lord. Let's get that sorted. It's a job for the Sabo. But yeah. Oh, just bang my leg. Yeah, man. That's cool as. Cheap, quick, little upgrades. It just make things not stuck. Woo! There we are. Quick and easy told you it was probably the easiest install I've done for ages um, I didn't expect it to be difficult but yeah well worth the 30 quid in my opinion um, I'll put the links to the Amazon down below 
Um, so you can have a little look if you fancy yourself. Crack on, proper easy. Not bad quality for 30 quid. The old stock plazzy one will go in the bag just in case it's needed and be filed under shit with the rest of the stuff. But yeah, there you go. Easy. Be good, be safe. I'll see you soon.